Now's your chance. Come on through if you can. Thanking God, is that what you just said? What you just saw was a video of Shashan Singh's spirit connecting with this world through something called an astral doorway. Or at least that's what we hope for. But the truth is, it's not real. Welcome back to the Mind is the to guys. I hope you guys are having a good day or wherever you are, I hope you're having a good night. I just want to send positive vibes. Real quick, I was working on the second part of sleep paralysis video, but someone asked me, is the spirit box real or fake? For those who don't know what spirit box is, it's this box that, you know, is supposed to communicate with the spirit you know for those who passed away from this physical realm so with these youtubers what they do is they call on the spirit and then the spirit they talk through the box to pass on a message now the question here is that are they really talking to the spirits before we move on I just want to say that I'm not bashing those who are doing spirit box session because I'm here to just give my opinion and what I think about it, right? This channel is not to bash nobody and I'm not, you know, it's not to expose nobody. It's to simply give my knowledge and see where we can go from there, right? So with this spirit box, I've seen a lot of sessions. They're called uh, dead celebrities, who, uh, celebrities who passed away, like Extension, Tupac, Martin Luther King, you name it. And they come through and they talk through this spirit box, right? And some people, they comment, hey, can you talk to my parents? You know, they had passed away and that's, you know. And the YouTuber, they will, you know, call this person who passed away, even if they're in heaven. And they talk through this spirit box. Last session that I watched, they communicated with a dog who had passed away. And the dog was speaking English. He said that, well, in, in the spirit realm, they have no language. They can communicate whatever language they feel like. So how does the spirit box work? Well, we all know a spirit can manipulate sounds or frequency, and they can come through and talk through any, you know, sound, like radio or whatever sound that you have, whatever device that you have. Well, as, you know, scientists, that's what they say. And a lot of people tried it and that's what they say, right? Because I like to go with evidence. Without evidence, I just don't like to jump and, you know, lead you into, you know, a dark path. So therefore, if you've seen the movie Bumblebee, you know how he talks through the radios, you turn on the radio channel and he manipulates their voice and he speaks through these people's voice. So someone asked me, is it fake or is it real? Are they really speaking to the spirit? My thing is, evidence is very important over here. If they have evidence that they're really speaking to spirit, then by any means they're helping people. If not, then we don't know who they're really talking to. Why? Because shadow people and demons, entities can be very, very tricky. You know, they can act as someone you know. They can, you know, pretend like somebody... They can even shape shift, shift. They can even change their voice and trick you, and you think you you speaking to uh, someone that you know here, you knew in this physical realm, but actually you're sticking you you're speaking to a, you know a deity or a shadow. And you might ask, well, how do they know all this personal stuff? Well, trust me, the Dark Lord shadows his soldiers are everywhere. They're spying on you every time. Sometimes. Even when you are thinking, you're just sitting there, you're having a random thoughts. If those thoughts are negative, you are really like manipulated by these, you know, entities that put in negative thoughts in your mind. And then if you act according to those thoughts, then therefore they accomplish their mission. And this is when you hear a lot of people, well, they kill their family, the whole family. And then they're like, well, you know, I had a voice was telling me to do this, to do this and so on so when they sit here and then they call spirit to come through and communicate with the spirit box you don't know who is talking through this uh, spirit box it could be any entity right the only evidence that we have that a loved one who had passed away can come in uh, you know can you know communicate with you is through dreams 
or if you have a good you know psychic medium or sometimes there are people who are gifted they are uh, vibrating in a high frequency to where they can see them here in, in this physical realm they'll be like I can swear I saw my you know dead and so and so especially in a dream is very easy for the spirit to come communicate with you and give you a message and this had happened a lot of times where well, the spirit box is to me is unknown because I really don't know who is speaking through there right they can manipulate any voice they can change the you know their voice to act like you know you're speaking to somebody you know but I'm not saying it's, you know whatever they're doing they're not talking to that person I'm not saying they are neither it's just I'm saying I really don't know right so it's just to be very careful when you open up a portal especially a box that an, uh, an app that you downloaded and you just calling somebody to come through there why because I don't know who really made this app I don't know who really wired these boxes and these boxes that cost two thousand dollars so I really don't know the trick in what's going on over here evidence is very important right I can see here and talk to you about how you know demons and deities and shadow people can you know trick you all day right there are people who walk among us that they're not even who they think they are there are people who were possessed by demons they don't even know right the only way some you know you can ask for evidence you know for your loved ones to talk to you try this sometimes if you feel like somebody had passed away you want to talk to them and you really uh, miss them just think of them every day trust me one one of these days they might appear in your dream and you guys can communicate or sometimes people they do what they do is they like sit here and just turn on the radio just like the spirit box but this is a radio station and you know accidentally coincidentally they hear a song that you know that their loved ones who once loved so much while they were alive this playing at the same time they was thinking about this person and then they say oh man this is a sign that this person was really you know telling me that I'm here I'm thinking about you too everything's okay right so there's a lot of theories and stuff like that but with this spirit box my answer is it's unknown because I really don't know who's talking through a spirit box I don't know who's coming through there right so all I say all I can say is just you know be careful and be careful who you try to be in touch with I'll see you in my next video Yes, I'm working on the second video of sleep paralysis, the second one. So I will see you here soon. And, f you know, before you go, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, and thank you if you've been watching through this whole seven minutes, I want to say, eight. I don't know. <laughs> Have a good day. And thank you for watching The Mind is Delta.